Hi, I'm Mary Ann Bonetti, and it's early spring, and usually I wait until uh, a little bit later on in the spring when the soil is warm to add my slow-release Osmocote fertilizer, but today I'm going to talk to you about planting sweet peas, and what you just saw me do is sprinkle the Osmocote slow-release plant food in a circle around this great big tall tomato cage. I'm not planting tomatoes. I am planting sweet peas, but one of the tips I'm going to give you for planting sweet peas is, first of all, plant in early spring when the soil is cool because sweet peas and peas are cool season crops. Second, put your support in at the time of planting. I'm using a tomato cage this time. Sometimes I use some screening um, uh, for them to climb up. Third, and this is the most important tip, when you plant your peas or sweet peas early, the soil is still damp and cold and you don't want them to rot, so the tip is you pre-sprout them. So in here is a damp cloth, use a dishcloth, washcloth, and in here are the sweet pea seeds that I put in here, oh, a couple days ago, you could do a week, and you put them in that damp cloth and this is what happens. The seeds sprout. Once they have started to sprout, they are less likely to rot in the cold soil. So now that I have these sprouted uh, pea seeds, I simply poke little holes, make little circles all around my supports, and then I will just drop my sprouted seeds into the holes. And then it's very important to firm the soil around the pea seedling just stuck in there. So kind of cave that hole in, push it down so it makes good contact with the hole. So now these are going to sprout and they're going to want to climb up the cage. When I see which ones are actually sprouting, I will go ahead and add some twigs to help them find the twig and start going up the metal support system. But I usually like to wait because sometimes the crows are so smart, they watch me planting these seeds, and they're going to come and pluck them right out of the soil. So I'm going to wait and see which ones actually make it um, to sprout, and then I'll put the support system next to the little pea seedlings as they start to grow up the tomato cage. And then in just a few months, I'll have wonderful, fragrant sweet peas. This has been Mary Ann Bonetti, Easy Answers for Great Gardens. If you enjoyed these gardening tips, subscribe to our channel so you can get updates on new videos and stay in the know about all things gardening. Click the red subscribe button below. See the description below for more information about how to connect with us on plantersplace.com, Facebook, and Instagram.